get ready for a bit of meditation and uh, making sure you're hope well you're as comfortable as can be and uh, hopefully in a quiet room or as quiet as can be a bit of space away from the world your own little world or rather the world that everybody connecting to what is the world i.e. yourself so making sure you're nice and comfortable and relaxed So, today Venerable Chanda was actually teaching a retreat on compassion. And I thought we'd use that same theme today. Um, it's, uh, it's one of the four Brahma Viharas, one of the four um, ways of relating to the world. And... Somehow, uh, compassion, we forget. We expect the world to be a particular way. We expect people to be a particular way. We expect ourselves to be a particular way. And we forget that it just isn't so. It just isn't so because... All of us, we're not AI, we're not robots. <laughs> we just have this mind that is uh, covered with various clouds <laughs> and we operate through those clouds like everyone else does. So... Uh, Natural, uh, uh, human existence is naturally flawed. It is in its usual state. It doesn't quite work. And so the Buddha and anyone with a bit of Clarity sees that, sees that beings are mired, are fettered by delusion, looking for happiness, where they can never find it. So today I thought we'd do a bit of um, meditation on compassion. Well, uh, as a as a practice, and see if we can connect to that same sense that the Buddha felt when he was first enlightened and he saw beings going around in circles. Looking here, looking there, trying so hard to find happiness where they never will. And so he, out of compassion, seeing the suffering of all of us. He came into the world to teach. So 
So we'll begin by just making sure we're settled down in body, and in the room, at least on the outside. We are a little bit quiet. Getting in touch with your physical body and what it feels right now. Hopefully noticing yourself draw inward and just knowing how you feel. Allowing yourself to settle down. Feel safe. So, this uh, guided meditation on compassion will begin by maybe bringing to mind someone or an event that reminds you of what compassion means.
would be a great human being. It could be something that has happened in your life or happened in somebody's life, the memory of which brings up what it means to be compassionate, what it feels to be compassionate. me I, for me one of the most inspiring people is the Dalai Lama and how under no circumstance he seems to have spoken ill about the Chinese he seems to have compassion instead towards what might be the fate of someone who does not act ethically. I could be an event, something that you remember where someone has been kind to you or kind to someone else. You witnessed an act of compassion. Make the story alive in your mind. Remember the events. Fill in the detail.
So bringing your mind back if it wanders away. Back to that little picture, that little story. It reminds us about the feeling of compassion. Remember that compassion is a very positive feeling. It's not where we see the suffering of someone else and we drown in it. But rather we see the suffering of someone else And we lend a helping hand a heart is open, accepting, but still. Beautiful. A heart opens. Not contract. We see our common humanity and we understand we do our bit to help. And now bring to mind someone or some being, it could be a dog or a cat, someone in distress. It could be an animal that has been 
left on the side of the road. Forgotten and afraid. And we see that little being and we pick it up and say, don't worry, I'll look after you. And we feel that being relax. We can see that it wants to trust us. We hold it close and we say, I'll look after you. I'll be there for you. I'll take you home. And you can stay with me. You'll be safe. And you see in the face of that person, of that being, their hearts open up at last. They can feel safe. And you know how you feel. Look after someone who is in distress. Well, on that feeling of caring for someone or some being. what it means to look after someone else, to pull them up from their suffering, to 
हो गए हैं बी बाय दाय Take the little creature home. You find a little box for him or her. Give him some milk. Keep him by the fire. Put some blankets around. Make sure they're at ease. Say you will be all right, little kitten. Dwelling on that moment, dwelling on that feeling. And then have spring to mind someone in your life who is having difficulty. Or a group of people who are having difficulty. And again, imagine you are their protector to the best of your ability. Your heart opens and picks them up. and draws them close so they can feel safe.
that they know they are understood. That they are heard. That it is okay. You're going to be okay. I'm there for you. I'll always be there for you. If your mind gets lost, bringing it back. And remembering that feeling that we had in the beginning of unconditionally looking after someone. That same feeling that we remembered right at the beginning. Heart of compassion. Being there, accepting the pain of that person good or bad, whatever happens in their life, I'm there for you. And then spreading your mind out to all human beings all of us just like that little cat 
all of us live in pain and difficulty from time to time and to some degree always because we are bound by our delusion, deluded minds. And again, that same feeling of picking all of us human beings up, drawing them close, listening and understanding their troubles, their sorrows. And our heart opens as we know we understand what it means to be human. We do whatever we can to help anybody. Bringing our mind back to that open-hearted feeling, the heart that is Mahagata gone great. Finally, coming to the close of our meditation, we think of ourselves also one of these human beings struggling in the world. And our heart opens up to ourselves.
all our pains and difficulties, our high times and our low times. Our despair and our great days. All of that is what it means to be a human being. We open our heart and accept it all. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. We come to the end of the meditation and bringing your mind back to this room, to this body. And noticing how your body feels how your mind feels. And just taking note of what happened in the last 40 minutes, 45 minutes. In seeing anything that you learned, anything that stood out, anything that helped. And we just come back to our bodies, come back to this room. And when you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. So, thank you. Yes. Um, at uh, so the last few minutes, we have yeah. time for questions or questions.
anything that you would like to say or oh, that's someone's apologizing for leaving early. That's no problem. <laughs> Go ahead. Goodbye. Oh, yes. Or we can just sit here quietly. <laughs> but yeah. Um, you're, very, you're very beneficial. That's great. Um, compassion actually is easier for, isn't it, for someone else? And it's something, you know, it's something where the Dalai Lama says, we are born with it. It's something deep inside us to reach out and help somebody else. And we forget our capacity and we sort of uh, have like a list of things to do as opposed to we're actually doing, we're trying to help another human being. So if we can change our shopping list of to-do activities for the day to an act of uh, service, how much easier our day would be, <laughs> at least for me anyway. <laughs> okay, there's a question. How to practice method to non-human objects like the future emotions? Thank you for the meditation. Mm, metta to non-human objects like the future. Yeah, like an emotion. Well, I guess you um, you bring up that feeling of metta, and to me, it's like there's two sides. There's 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 um, there's the emotion, and then there's me, kind of like a subject and object kind of thing. So, sort of making the making the emotion the object and my metta the subject that is sort of you know you sort of put a put a bit of a gap between me and the uh, the object and then you have a bit of way of working with it so the same with the future the future could be just that feeling of oh no what's going to happen you know so again it's an emotion <laughs> and having that okay i and then a personification you could say of that emotion um, is the object and I am the subject so I yeah that's that's how you could work with it okay for the amazing, amazing energy Kim says so there's a few comments um which I will read out but uh ah uh yes uh, thank you for the amazing meditation wonderful it was really good Thank you, Sadhu, Sadhu. And Kim, in part of a wonderful and inspiring memory of when someone showed me great kindness and compassion so I could feel his compassion as well as my own response. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, as well as our own response, isn't it? That's what we want to bring up in ourselves our own response when someone acts unconditionally without judgment and is is it's it's yeah what can i say i understand <laughs> yes okay and then udayanti says thank you for this inspiring meditation oh no that was thank you yes no wonderful wonderful um yeah um no it's a wonderful forgotten practice of compassion because we're all really caring human beings deep down inside even when we do things not quite right hidden down in the bottom of it is we is is actually a, a seed of of compassion isn't it we focus on the outside and the activity and the you know do this and do that but we lose sight of that initial um uh, intention of ours was to do something good was to help somebody so if we can remind ourselves of of our own of our own good intentions sometimes when we're getting about our daily life then that seed grows as opposed to all the external things that go on in our life but uh, yeah, thank you everyone for um, 
practicing and for joining in this meditation. And uh, yes, I think, oh yes, here it is. Matthias has put in all our usual um, uh, links for how you can support Anukampa. As you know, we're moving to a new monastery in exactly one month, and it's going to be a big new project. <laughs> yes, that gives opportunity for more, more people, more women to um, practice the Dhamma to its highest. <laughs> okay. Well, I was... Um, yeah, usually Manori says something at this time, but there's no Manori. <laughs> um, but yes, if anyone had any more questions or or comments, or thank you for all the thank you for all the one yeah for all the comments and appreciation. I appreciate it also. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so yes uh well if there's nothing else we can all all quietly leave or say goodbye and um uh finish off for the day have a wonderful weekend <laughs>